Facebook. Welcome to the new Comic Book Day Rundown. I'm your host, Rachel. I am the manager of the digital publishing program. I am Brennan, and I am a graphic designer. That's a way cooler job than mine. It's more fun and sexier. A little sexier. Um, so guys, we have a lot of cool new stuff to show you today, but first, I want to tell you about some really awesome sales that are happening in digital. I don't know if you guys have heard of this thing called Black Friday that's coming up. It's on Friday. That's the main thing about it. Um, and there's, it's a day when there's a lot of sales. Yeah. So we are going to be doing 50% off your entire purchase at Dark Horse Digital. Um, and it's going to be with the code Black Friday. Yes. That's the code. Yes. Um, and for those of you who can't remember that, we will post it for you in the comments. Um, that's going to run Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, so make sure that you load up, just grab everything you can like an angry raccoon mm -hmm. and um, put, it then, in little trash bag. put it in your little trash bag and uh, yeah, and make use, make good use of that, please. Uh, and then Sunday night uh, at 11.59 p.m. Pacific time, that will end and Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday. Is going to begin. Mm -hmm. And for Cyber Monday, we're going to have some really awesome creator-focused mega bundles. You can't kind of infer what a mega bundle is. It is a large bundle that you buy all in one purchase, and they're kind of specially curated by your friends at Dark Horse yes. for you, and you get massive discounts. They're usually at least 50% off, if not a little more. So they're an amazing, amazing deal. So we want to hook you guys up for Black Friday and for yeah, Cyber Monday, yeah, right? We and we do. Yeah. Uh, B Money, you want to tell them about how they can win stuff that's on this table? I certainly do. So if you want to get any of these things for free, please email us with which one you'd like to win at contest at darkhorse.com and we will do our best to hook you up. Nice. Yeah, we would love to hook you up and we love to hear from you. Yes. So, with that out of the way, should we tell them about a somewhat exciting new art book that's out today? Uh, yes, we should. Yeah? So, we have The Art of Wolfenstein 2. This hardcover volume is the perfect companion to the game Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus, full of brutal and beautiful concept art and with exclusive commentary from the creative team at Machine Games, the creators of the latest edition of the beloved video game franchise. This book belongs in the collection of art-loving freedom fighters everywhere. Woo! All right. Stoked. Yeah, super stoked. Okay, so another excellent hardcover release that we have for you guys today, Gregory Suicide. It, this original graphic novel, written by Eric Grissom with art by Will Perkins, takes readers into a frightening future. An obsolete AI program called Gregory wakes in an unfamiliar world and is haunted by memories from his past lives. Ooh, each ending in death by his own hand. Gregory finds himself caught between two opposing forces, the deadly AI who replaced him and a group of humans who want to destroy him and all his kind. Greg must choose a side in the coming revolution. Includes bonus sketches, designs, and commentary from the creators because, you know, that's how we roll. Sounds good. Yeah, it, it, yeah I, I'm, I don't think either one of us have read this yet, yeah. but it sounds really awesome, and um, I think that we should read it. I think so, too. Cool. Rad. We can read it to each other. Yeah, I love that. All right. Yeah. Amazing. All right, so we have Tomb Raider Survivors, Survivors, Survivors <laughs> Crusade number one. Uh, Laura Croft is back for new adventures with a new creative team. Ooh. Written by Jackson Lansing and Colin Kelly with art by Ashley A. Woods. This is a great jumping on point for new readers. Yeah. Uh, Laura Croft has unfinished business. She's still dealing with the revelation that her father's death was no accident, knowing that he was murdered by Trinity. Mm -hmm. Laura finds herself driven by, not by a need for exploration, but revenge. Obviously. That path will lead her all over the globe on an adventure that will explore not only antiquity, but her own past as well. So this is like kind of just getting back to yeah. Tomb Raider. Yeah. Just yeah. exploring antiquity, which I think is what we all think about yeah. when we think of Tomb Raider. That's what, I, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> do this weekend, long weekend. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So next up, guys, we have... Sherlock Frankenstein and the Legion of Evil, number two, from the pages of Black Hammer, written by Jeff Lemire, art by David Rubin, colored by Dave Stewart. Lou Kaminsky was just a regular old Spiral City plumber when one day he was plunged into the horrific world of the great old ones to become Cthulhu. Hmm. Uh -huh. Yes, Cthulhu, because his name is Lou. Issue number two of this miniseries reveals the origin story of how a mild-mannered handyman turned into an emissary for a cosmic god and one of Black Hammer's most feared opponents. 
Um, so this is a really just kind of fun, awesome new series. We're only at issue number two. We've got a sweet variant cover. It's not too late to pick up number one and just kind of dive in. I mean, Black Hammer is amazing. This is a really cool spinoff that I think you guys should yeah. check out if you like Black Hammer. Oh, do it. Yeah. Uh, all right. We have Department H number 20. So many of them are so good. Mm -hmm. uh, things just keep getting more intense in this series by Matt Kent. When Q confesses to Mia the heavy burden he's been carrying for years, she finds out that he, ha he has even more secrets than he has tattoos. I have a lot of secrets. Too. Yeah, that's, it's, yeah, same. Yeah, it's um, so it's very relatable for yes. us is what we're trying to say. Um, okay, guys, also out today, bank shot number four. When his mission to kill the Dutchman goes wrong, Marcus King finds himself under the knife and the source of his, his enhanced abilities in jeopardy. When looking to escape, what's better than one badass special agent with enhanced abilities and an appetite for destruction? A second agent with the same powers. That's right. You didn't see that coming, mm -mm. did you? Mm -mm. Uh, written by Alex DeCanopy, art by Criss Cross, colored by Snakebite Cortez. That's a good lineup. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Crisscross. I know. That was a little weird. Crisscross. All right. Uh, Brennan, what do we got next? Uh, I think are we you finish have, it up? Okay. Are got we some angels? Cool. All right. Yeah. We're going to finish up with uh, something from the Whedon verse here Angel Season 11, Number 11. As the steam clears from Angel's confrontation with the goddess Illyria, the trio find themselves back in the present where their time traveling adventure began. Angel, Fred, and Illyria are finally ready to face what waits for them as long as they can all let go of the past. The penultimate issue of Angel Season 11, with a variant cover by Geraldo Borges. This is gonna be really exciting for all yeah. you Angel fans out there. Um, obviously, if you've been reading this far, you're not gonna wanna miss it. No. And you should get the it. variant too. Yeah, do it. All right, guys, that is all for us for yeah. today. Yeah. Um, we are wishing all of you an incredibly happy Thanksgiving, if you choose to celebrate that. Yes. Go forth into the gravy boat.